Good morning, evening, or afternoon, everybody. It's Kago coming at you with another video. So first off, I just want to apologize for uh, not going to make a video for last Thursday. I would try to do a video Monday through Friday and then weekends if I miss one of those days. But I've been down with a fever. Um, it was 102 yesterday. Um, as you can see, I even missed the raid yesterday. I was just sort of taking some drugs and sort of trying to get some rest and recover. Um, but as you can see, I'm still fully raid buffed it's in order to uh, make this. It's not that big a deal. I usually play my mage, and now I have a whole week to get him again. But just want to let you guys know that. But anyway, so to business. Today's video, as promised, I'm going to walk you through all the materials needed for AQ and opening the gates. Now, there's two parts of this. There's the trying to become the Scarab Lord and banging the gong part which is an individual thing like one person does it but it requires a whole guild and we'll get into why that is and then there is the general thing that everyone on the server bands together to do now the materials needed for this might be um changed because back in vanilla the servers were much bigger and there were a lot fewer now we have a lot bunch of smaller servers so Anyway, the mats that you're going to need. Now, both factions need to gather 90,000 copper bars, 26,000 purple lotus, 80,000 thick leather, 70,000 spotted yellow tails, and 400,000 rune cloth bandages. Normal rune cloth, not heavy. Um, and each of these turn ins rewards signets, which are used. Um, later on to get reputation with one of the five major factions um, once AQ opens. Um, you can see those people out in the um, uh, cities and outside of um, the troll guys outside of Thrall's palace and I think the orc is up by the PvP area over there, at least in Orgrimmar. Um, anyway, so the Alliance is tasked with gathering 26 or 28,000 iron bars, 24,000 thorium bars, um, 20,000 Arthas's tears, 33,000 uh, strange kelp or uh, strangle kelp. Sorry about that. Um, 180,000 light leather, um, 110,000 medium leather, uh, 200,000 roast raptor. 14,000 rainbow fin albacores, 80, 800,000 linen bandages, and 600,000 silk bandages. Now, all these reward varying amounts of signets, and you don't uh, turn in all of these at once. Um, I mean, you can if your whole server is there and ready to go. I honestly think Horde will have them in pretty freaking quickly. Um, and then we come to the Horde, at least Horde on my server. I just want to specify this is very broad um, I'm speaking in terms of my server when I say stuff like that because we are horde and very dominated um, so we have 22k 10 bars 18k mithril bars 96,000 peace bloom 19,000 fire bloom 60,000 heavy leather 60,000 rugged leather 10,000 lean wolf steak 10,000 baked salmon and 25,000 wool bandages and 25,000 mage weave bandages. Now, none of these are heavy bandages, just the basic normal ones. So keep that in mind. And the horde turn ins are in Valley of Spirits in Org, and the Alliance ones are in the Military Ward in Iron Forge. So that's all the supplies that everyone else goes around and does. Um, once the gate is opened, there are three limited time, uh, delivery quests, um, that are there for 10 hours after the gong is hit. And I just want to be very clear in that 10 hour period, other people, multiple people can also get them out. It's n there's one person who rings the gong that launches the 10 hour event. Anyone else who completed this long quest chain that we're about to go over they can also hit the gong and get the mount and everything. It would be like they did it too. And there's really no difference at all other than you weren't the first. Um, so I just want to be very, very clear on that. But after that 10-minute window, you can't do it. No one else can get it. 
Anyway, so we come to the quest line and materials that you're going to need if you want to do this. This isn't that bad. I mean, some of them are very expensive, but it's not too many. You only need 20 goblin rocket fuel, 20 deep rock salt, 20 arcanite bars, 10 elementium ore, 10 azerothian diamonds, and 10 blue sapphires. So that's just the materials you need for this quest line. Um, in order to start it, you have to do an uh, intro quest, which is about eight steps. Um, the first one is go to the Caverns of Time in Tenaris, and that is going to be right here. Um, and you then have to go talk to Balatosh of the Sifti Shifting Sands. Now, um, he will give you a quest called Only One May Rise, and he will have you go into BWL, uh, Blackwing Lair, and kill the Broadlord Lasher in order to get this head right here. Head of the Broadlord, Broodlord Lasher. Um, Lash Lair, sorry about that. Um, only one person per raid can get this item, and it doesn't drop until AQ. Um, so you're going to have to wait a while and do that then. Then next, you're going to have to kill Silithed to get Silithed Carpus um, fragments, and you need 200, so you can get 1 to 4 per kill. I do believe you could do this um, now. Um, it's not a quest item. So I know those items are in the game. I'm not sure if having if you just need to turn 200 of them in or you have to kill 200. I have no way of testing this without a private server that's there. But from what it looks like, you um, can be, do that pretty easy, easily. Um, then you have the Hand of the Righteous. So you have to do the same thing um, until you're a neutral with the Broad of Norse Dormu. And you'll need to you get 500 rep per turn in, which means this is going to take 17,000 of those silithid carpus fragments. So if you are serious about this, I would get on this right now. Um, if you're a human, um, you can uh, get it going pretty quickly. Also important with each turn in that you do, you can also recruit a friend to help you collect them and turn them in. So every time you reach the 200 and turn them in, you can get someone else to help you, which makes it quicker and quicker and quicker if you get a group of friends that are either on the same part as you or want to go um, and just help you get the Scarab Lord. Um, then after that, you go back to the Caverns of Time um, and visit our Kronos, Anna Kronos. He is there, um, same place I showed you earlier. And then after that, you're going to um, go in front of the gates of Silithus and search for a crystalline tier. Um, once you see that, you're going to click on it. Then you can grab that nice and easy. Um, it would be somewhere around here by the gates of Ankaraj. Um, then after you turn that in, you just turn it in. And then you get the three parts. So that's just the introductionary phase. After you do that, you have the red um, scepter shard, the green scepter shard, and the blue scepter shard to get. Now, the red one is you get from Valstra's um, The Corrupt, which is the second boss in BWL. You have to get this quest, and then you have to um, kill Nefarian within five hours of starting this quest, and then you loot the shard from Nefarian, only one person can loot it. Keep that in mind. Um, and then you can go turn it into um, uh, our Anachronos at the uh, Cavern so of Time. So for the green scepter shard, um, it's called Aranicus, Tyrant of the Dream. Um, this starts by finding Malfurion Stormrage, and he is in the Sunken Temple, and he's at the room where the Shade of Aranicus is. Um, after you talk to him, he tells you to go to um, Tredesil, which is the um, Night Elf City. Here is where the Sunken Temple is, and then the Night Elf City is right here. Um, you will find a forest wisp outside 
of it. Um, it's about 39.42, so right about here-ish. Right where my mouse is is where you will find that for a Swisp. Um, and then he tells you to go to Moonglade to talk to Keeper Romulus, which is right about here. Um, and then he will have you go to Ashenvale, Feralus, the Hinderlands, and Duskwood to kill um, dragons, elite dragons, to get the fragments of the Nightmare's Corruption, which is pretty freaking crazy and... Um, they're really high level elites. People actually drag the Ashenvale ones from org into org and try to kill us all the time. Happens at night quite often. Um, and then after you kill them, these elites are very hard, so you will need a group. And then you have to do a raid group for this last one. It's called the Nightmare Manifest, and you have to defend the Night Raven and wait for Tirana to get there, as well as you do not kill uh, Aranicus, the Tyrant of the Dream, and you cannot let Keeper um, Remulos die. Then after you do all that, you go back to our Ar Anachronos at the um, Caverns of Time and turn that in. So finally, we have the Blue Shard, and this has three separate paths that you can choose to go down. You have um, Azurgos's magical ledger, which you have to go seek out Azurgos and turn it in. Um, I believe you can talk to his ghost to, in order to complete this quest. Um, his ghost is running around once he has been killed at any time um, on the server, so he should be up for you guys. Um, then after that, you will get three quests um or he tells you to go to steam uh Weddle port and Tenaris, who will then give you three quests um one of them is to go to silver pine forest at the gilneas gate and talk to um an inspicuous in uh an in inspicuous crate so we would head all the way here in uh, Silver Pine Forest at the gate. The crate should be down around here. Um, Gilneas isn't actually a zone here in Classic yet. Um, then the next one we have is, this is a different branch. You talk to someone in Tenaris and you'll need about 10 people to this and you go to the Iron, or the Isle of Dread in Feralus and kill Lord uh, Lakeman to get his carcass and then kill chimeras around it to get the 20 uh, chimeric tenderloins. So that is going to be here in Feralus on this island, Island of the Dread. So you get into the middle of this and you'll be fighting some pretty powerful elites. Um, then you have to give him 20 goblin rocket fuel and 20 deep rock salt, which is why we mentioned that at the beginning of this. Um, and then you return to them back at Tenaris. Um, and then we have the final step. Um, it's called Love Song for uh, Narian. And this is, um, you can get an elixir of water walking in order to do this or swim speed. Just something that can have you um, get to the island without being uh, fatigued. And we will find this person um, in southern Cenaris is where this island is located. I think it's even further out here. Or it could be, those are ships. I'm not even sure if it's in the game yet, honestly. Um, let me take a look here to see exactly where it is. Yeah, so it's not in the, it's right here um, on the map, but I do not see it um, in yet. It might not be in until AQ comes out we can definitely go and see if that is the case. If not, you're not going to make it unless you're a shaman or have some water walking or be able to move quickly. Um, and then once you get there, you are going to click the freshly dug dirt to complete it. And then you go all the way back um, to Narian, um, who is over here in Steam Weddle Port. Um, so it's just running around in snares, really. Um, then after that, you have to bring uh, people to, it says, bring five groups of friends to Winter Spring um, and open his special kit that he has given you. Um, and you have to find the location of the drop point. Um, you pretty much just use these items 
Um, and while you're there, you have to kill number two. It's just a crude map, and his helmet and a bag of gold is what he gives you. Pretty straightforward. You just go to Winter Spring and follow that. I believe it has a wide range of places that it can um, spawn at. Um, it just depends which one you get from this bag. <clears throat> and now finally, probably the hardest part of this is the final thing. And this requires to get you all eight of the chapters for Trinanic, um for dummies. And this requires you to go to Alcaz Islands in Death Swallow Marsh, which is over here. And you have to kill Dr. Weevil. This is probably going to take 15 to 20 people in order to do that. Then you have to go to the Tainted Scar and kill uh, demons until you get the Draconic for dummies there. Um, these demons are pretty big, but by AQ, you could probably do it with five people or so. Then you have to go to the Dark Whisper Gorge in Winter Spring, which is going to be right here to get the next chapter. Um, then you have to go to the Mage Quarter in Undercity and collect a book from a table. Um, both factions have to do this, whether you're Horde or Alliance. Um, so it's over here. It's the Mage Quarter. And then we have to go to the library in Stormwind City and get a book um, from there. So the library, I believe, is inside of the keep. I'm not 100% on that. Um, anyway, then the next one is go to Anixia's lair, kill Anixia. Then you have to go into Blackwing lair, and there's a book near Ebonrock. Um, Onyxia is right here in the Wormbog, and then, um, Blackwing Lair is here in Black Rock Mountain. Um, and then, finally, you have to go into Molten Core and kill Ragnaros and loot the book for him. Once you have all eight of these pieces, you use the magical book binding, put them all together, and then you are almost done. This is the final part that you have to do. So, all the rest of the items that we had you list on the shopping list, 20 Arcanate Bars, 10 Elementium, or 10 Azerithian Diamonds, and 10 Blue Sapphires will be turned in um, to the guy in Tenaris, and he will then give you an Arcanite buoy, and you have to go to the Bay of Storms um, in Ajara and summon Maws. And you kill him to get the Blue Scepter Shard. So, he is spawned right here. Um, it's about in the middle of it. There's a giant pool that you will see. It looks like a huge fishing pool. So, guys, if you do all that and you're the first one or you do it on par with everyone else, you yourself can become the Scarab Lord. And you will be able to then go turn it in, bang the gong, and get your mount as well as a epic weapon. That uh, They're all pretty good. There's a healing for 121. There is a agility dagger. There is a awesome um, sword that gives you 64 spell power. And then there is a sword that gives you strength, agility, and stam. These four weapons are pretty awesome. And you are able to complete this chain after the gong has been banged um, if you want one of those weapons. So that's up to you. Um, you wouldn't get them out unless it's within that 10-hour window. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. It's going to be a long one. I'm giving you a complete walkthrough, breakdown, everything that you can get, the materials you need, and how to go about it. So I hope this helps. Um, I hope this helps you prepare, just stuff you can do, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye, guys. If you made it to the ending, thank you so much for watching this video. It really helps. If you could, please share this with like one person you know because it would help me so, so much. I'd appreciate that. Really gets me going on this and can keep growing to make this sustainable and keep up this lifestyle. So I super appreciate it. And if you could please like, comment, and subscribe, it would mean the world to me. And thank you so very much. Bye-bye.